Shout out to all of you guys out here on YouTube. The bus is having a beautiful, splendid time. I miss you guys. I miss being in the live videos and talking to you. Some of you I don't miss. But uh, <laughs> but if you think it's you, it's probably you. But those of you with a clean mind and a clean heart, it's not you. But I've been taking this time and just laughing and seeing things for what it really is because I knew I was right the entire time. It's not about me being arrogant. It's not about me being whatever. It's just me just seeing uh, how society and how they use our so-called celebrities and they push the worst type of people. It's not after two minutes. They push the worst type of people on us. You can have the lowest character in every other race. It would be frowned upon for a U.S. sitting senator to go upside down on a handstand and twerk. I would like to think in other cultures that would be frowned upon. But see, they utilize all the bad things so they can justify the way that they treat us, in my opinion. And for the right amount of money, they can always get certain people to put out this bad imagery of us as a whole. I think if you was Arabic, that would be frowned upon. It would be frowned upon for a Rhode Island senator what is her name? Tierra? Or T T I see I don't have it in front of me. Miss Mac? That would be frowned upon. That would be looked down on. You would be shamed for that. But for us? Oh yeah, that means you deserve a vote. And I can't help it. I'm American, so I ain't too mad at it. I want to, you know, I would look, but do, do, do that. I understand that that, that doesn't have anything to do with voting for her. I get it. A lot of people don't. So I wouldn't vote for somebody just that virtue signal like that. As a matter of fact, if I saw you do that and I was in that state, I probably nine times out of ten wouldn't vote for you. That's just me though. Because I understand what's going on. But Stephen Jackson, let's move back over to Stephen Jackson because I want to show y'all the imagery they put in front of us in our community. So we got that from a woman who's educated in all these other things that she says she is. And be that as it may, her morals and her character still was that of just any old person. When it should be at a different level to get to the point where you're a sinner. And that's my opinion. Maybe it's not yours. Then we have brother Stephen Jackson who is placed up on this pedestal for being a champion and this is a guy who's supposed to come back and love up on our community serve the community or at least you don't highlight the worst parts of our community and to try to hide what he did as community activism I just think that's a bunch of bullshit knowing where I come from and knowing how guys like that who hide in groups who love to use some dangerous fellas that learn some dangerous skills from their environment it'll be people like that that utilize their skills running their mouth saying the things that he said in that video 
was nothing to do with charity. If you was given a thousand dollars, you could have did a video and said, I gave a thousand dollars. But no, it wasn't that. I got my chains on. I'm everywhere. You never there. You got scared to go. Only the real ones know. This, this whole concept of real is what he embodies. He's not talking about the regular everyday man that builds this country. He's talking about this street character, this street guy. What did he say about me when I went to L.A.? Oh, well, well, the real ones know about you. You walked around with the police. Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. Uh, L.A. got very strict gun laws. And I like to have a firearm. So what the fuck else you think I'm supposed to do? I'm going to be lawful and legal in what I do. So somebody else going to have a gun. But you keep this street persona in this mouth. And this is what's wrong with our community. A man can't never get to an age where he grows up and grows into his manhood and his maturity level. This man is over 40 years old. Checking in with teenagers that can potentially die any day now. Look at all the shootings that's going on in that same block that he went and knelt down on. But we glorify that. We do not want to correct bad behavior. Now I want you to listen to Brother Jackson because he proved that there was a go along, get along game. We shouldn't let them up. Who is we, first of all? Sound like a gang gang to me. We are not gonna allow them access to the good networks, the big networks, the real networks. We are not gonna allow them access. Boy, you sound like a gatekeeping, buck dancing little hoe. And cause those access to those platforms that he's talking about is owned by those white people that I'm talking about. They only want to let a Negro like him be up there acting like they're going to educate the youth. Now he's going to the hood, giving out little trinkets, acting like he down. Instead of giving them some knowledge, why they can't live where you live? A thousand dollars through the hood ain't going to do a motherfucking thing. Not to say that you shouldn't do that, but what I'm asking is why they couldn't live where you live. Show them how to live where you live. So there is no such thing as an old block that you're excited about because it's dangerous. Look at the people that these organizations hire and put in front of us. On that show, you have two guys who are out of control fucking men. Matt Barnes is an angry jackass that jumped over his own goddamn gate fighting and acting like a jackass shown numerous situations to where this guy's fighting in nightclubs allegedly with other NBA players. Always acting like he's a tough guy instead of just a goddamn man. Steven Jackson done been allegedly knocked out by fingers. Done allegedly put it all this stuff in the police report. So shame about it that allegedly the report is deleted off of the internet. These are the men that they put in front of you. He's bragging about this go along, get along game. Let's listen. So then we gotta make a new rule. And it needs to be a rule all over. All my homeboys that I deal with, you know, Solomon. Fair use, this is on Instagram. From the streets to the rap to NBA to football, all y'all that have some integrity. Everybody that keep giving these snitches and these people that only live to demean others to get. Why is Steven Jackson, a basketball player who's on networks, even uttering the word snitch? Why are you worried about snitches and you're not in a gang gang? These are trigger words for street niggas. Nigas, you are a basketball player. They ain't gonna let you even say nothing about no damn snitching. So why are you even interested in that? Let's keep it going so you can see how brainwashed these so-called celebrities are. Activists by night, 
brainwashed want to be thug by day on your networks confusing our youth with tr trinkets and gold wrapped around his neck paying homage to the hood and the people who kill black mothers and, and black sons and little girls and I'm not totally blaming it on them but that environment should not be uplifted it should be helped to correct and get right to get uh, some clout that ain't got nothing going on if you're giving these people a platform, you're gonna be in the same category with them. Just like we're not rocking with them clowns and we're not giving them no, no access to the real shows, to the real networks, because all they do is demean people and admit that they snitching and y'all still giving them platforms, y'all gonna be in the same category with them. Give me the kid voice, old fleas. We, we, we're not giving them access. My goodness. Let's hear this one more time. Fair use is on Instagram. We got to make a new rule. And it needs to be a rule all over. All my homeboys that I deal with, you know, solid. So hold on. He said we got to make a new rule. So he's in a group of people that make rules. So... This go along, get along game that he and make rules for all of us. And so they're gonna make a new one because the old rules ain't working. So they gotta make a new rule. See, I showed how easy it was to expose how weak this bullshit is with these guys. One guy came here telling the goddamn truth and, and showing them, nigga, I'm doing this, making from a fucking truck. A guy that they demeaned his name, called him nothing, is making from a fucking truck. From the front seat of his truck. While they got production networks and all that. And they, I guarantee you, they wasn't making what I was making at the time. And it ain't about the money. It's about every individual should have the right to freedom to show their talent. But they turn everything into an algorithm. They turn everything into a group. So if you say what they don't want you to say, and you talk about who we like or who we don't like, that's going to determine the level of the flow of your income. They're not making these things algorithms to help you. They're making them to control you. They turn your notifications down almost off. They watch your page. They let people strike you. We block access, is what he said, to the real networks that's all owned by white people. Wow. This is a black man saying the fist pumping nigga. Let's listen to him. And he called this real. All in the name of real. You can hurt any nigga in the name of real now. The real niggas are the KKK now. They're the biggest killers of niggas but you can hurt any nigga in the name of real now. Let's hear this real nigga. From the streets to the rap to NBA to football, all y'all that have some integrity. Everybody that keep giving these snitches and these people that only live to demean others to get, to get uh, some clout that ain't got nothing going on. If you're giving these people a platform, you're gonna be in the same category with them. Just like we're not rocking with them clowns and we're not giving them no, no access to the real shows, to the real networks, because all they do is demean people and admit that they snitching and y'all still giving them platforms, y'all finna be in the same category with them. Give me the kid voice, old fleas. Real ones out there, we gotta make it. It's a damn shame how phony this shit is. A gangster nigga, a wannabe gangster nigga, know a word like demean. One minute you're gangster, you can't come here, you got chains on. Next minute you talking about somebody demeaning somebody? Boy, you just as confused as you. Jesus Christ. I told y'all there was a go along, get along game. And this guy just proved it. People speak out about what they, what they don't like about what he said. And what does he do? We're going to block your access to the other people and we're going to get these people that's the real, meaning that signed to the same company. You better not let them up.
Keep talking, Jack. We hear you. You are the weak weasel for today. Today is Weak Weasel Wednesday, and you are one of the biggest weasels. You and your network of buddies that claim that it's the white man we should fear, but it's you niggas keeping niggas in a box. It's you type of niggas that do the bidding of these white boys. And not all, because I got some white friends that'll stand next to me and swing with me just like against any color. Because they believe in what's right and what's not right. They don't fuck with it. Right and wrong. They don't deal with color. It's about right and fucking wrong. And now it's raining. And that's what we got to start going back to. Right and wrong. Not these clown ass wannabe celebrities that talk down to you like they better than you. And then now they can cut off the white man network from you as if they the white man. So, no, nah, I ain't rocking with that, Jack. That, that, was, that made you look even worse to say the shit that you just said. Because then you're going to be Wakanda and Black Lives Matter soon. So I don't know how to take you no more. It just seemed like you only like the worst side of our culture. The fighting, the shooting, the dysfunction, and destruction. That's what you like, and that's what you glorify. Where the doctors at y'all interview? Where the black lawyers at y'all interview? It's only basketball players, especially ones with stories about other bullshit. You got this large platform, show some small businesses for free. Do take a page out of my book. Come on now, don't fight against it so hard. You know that shit was brilliant. That shit was brilliant. Get a large platform, you show people shit. Give them a leg up. Yeah, they say pull yourself up by the bootstraps while the rest of the cultures have nepotism. So it ain't no damn pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Everybody need a little help, a little look. So with your large ass platform, you don't gotta go to the hood. Bring the hood to you. Stop carrying your ass out there with jury on shooting basketball talking about you never there and change their life by using your platform. Bring one of them dudes out there that got some talent on rapping or whatever else and bring them up to your platform and do it like that. Bring the artwork that they drew in their bedroom that they just can't get a look. Do it like that. Don't be out there trying to half a, a, a slick shot people and do all that fake gangster shit you doing. That done got you in enough trouble in Indiana. And wherever else you was at when fingers knocked your ass out. Allegedly, I think I snapped. It's time for you to put that gangster shit aside. You about to be a cool ass granddaddy. Act like it. Now shout out to Sino. I see you on Vlad bitch ass head still. Yeah, I'm proud to say, you know, people had to play dirty because we was exposing these bitch ass motherfuckers. Yeah, you were as weak as I thought too, Vlad. Put your name in the title or all something. Boy, all hell break loose on the video, boy. Yeah, because you a sucker like that. Just because you sleep with black women, that don't mean you black, punk. And you a fucking coward. Because everything we said about you, we were showing it on video. You did ask people questions about open cases. And you do ask a bunch of dumb shit that can get people arrested. And that's your whole fucking show. Plausible deniability, and they should know better. That's your whole logic. I mean, they know a camera on them, but you know it's on them too, motherfucker. You know it's on them too. And Carcino, y'all go check out Carcino page of how he trying to bait a bird man, allegedly, into a getting an interview by using his brother. Y'all go check it out on Carcino's For Life page. Shout out to all these YouTubers, you know. I see some YouTubers working out their issues. The YouTubers that are working out their issues that I rock with both of them, I respectfully stay out of it. I tell my piece on the side, and that's that. But like I said, you don't tell grown-ups what to do. Do I agree with all of the language? No, I do not. Did I say any other language? No, I did not. So there you have it. Grow up people that don't understand that concept. You're supposed to judge a person off what they say and what they do. Not what another grown adult is saying or doing. 
my opinion on whether I agree or not <laughs> don't mean a hill of beans to the person who said it. If it did, they would have conferred with me before they said it. They would have had a conversation with me. They would have conversed with me before they said it, but they didn't. So clearly what I think don't mean a hill of fucking beans and what you think don't either. So <clears throat> y'all have a blessed day. It's raining now, so I'm about to keep on moving. I'm about to jump in somebody's chat and, and, and listen. And I, you know, I might not go squat, but uh, I got some things coming up for y'all in, you know, in the near, near future. Y'all hold it down. I appreciate everybody who's been still rocking and still paying out, paying attention for the videos. I know we ain't getting no notifications. A, a lot of people are telling me the notifications ain't going out. And that's how they trying to bury me, you know, take me off the internet, release a movie, all the shit they wanted to do in the summer. They running them up doing it now. Shout out to Ear to the Streets because he's been helping the people stop spinning all these damn narratives that they've been spinning. Because they were supposed to be spinning narratives while the movie's out, while everybody, while the uh, ratings go down and, you know, they stop sending the notifications out. But you guys are still going strong. So salute to everybody who's still watching. Uh, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Even though it's raining, we still able to do this. And we still able to avoid the go along, get along game. So you guys have a blessed day. I'm about to jump in somebody's chat. Shout out to Jim from Kwame Brown, uh, Sister T, Damn D, Gravity Takeout, all of y'all, man. Y'all hope y'all fix y'all situation. You know, y'all, I hope y'all ain't go too far enough with the disses that y'all can't fix it. But that's on that's on y'all. One person says something, can't tell somebody that they, they can't respond back. And hopefully they cut cooler heads for them. <clears throat> and, you know, they stop responding to each other in that manner. You don't have to like one another. Nobody got to like nobody. But at the end of the day, you can still respect the person you don't like. Um, so or you cannot watch or not participate. So it is what it is. And that's just my opinion. But. Y'all have a blessed day, man. I'm gonna focus on this road. And uh, anybody I forgot, I apologize. But if you a positive YouTuber, you kick draws and asses, you handle your business without doxing people, talking about mamas and all that shit. First, I rock with you. I'm gone.